Hey rascals, Miss Silva here. I wanted to read this book to you today. This is my daughter's favorite book. Um, it's called Olivia, so I hope you enjoy it. So here we go, Olivia. It's by Ian Falconer. This is Olivia. She is good at lots of things. She is very good at wearing people out. She even wears herself out. There she is. Look at all the stuff she's doing. There she is all worn out. Olivia has a little brother named Ian. He's always copying. Sometimes Ian just won't leave her alone. So Olivia has to be firm. Look how scary she looks. Olivia lives with her mother, her father, her brother, her dog Perry, and Edwin the cat. In the morning after she gets up and moves the cat, and brushes her teeth and combs her ears, and moves the cat, Olivia gets dressed. She has to try on everything. Check her out, she's trying on all her clothes. On sunny days, Olivia likes to go to the beach. She feels it's important to come prepared. Last summer, when Olivia was little, her mother showed her how to make sand castles. She got pretty good. Look at that. It's amazing. Sometimes Olivia likes to bask in the sun. When her mother sees she's had enough, they go home. Every day Olivia is supposed to take a nap. It's time for your you know what, her mother says. She doesn't look too happy to take a nap. Of course, Olivia's not at all sleepy. On rainy days, Olivia likes to go to the museum. She heads straight for her favorite picture. Olivia looks at it for a long time. What could she be thinking? Wonder what she's thinking, let's see. Oh, she's thinking about being a dancer, just like the picture. But there's one painting Olivia just doesn't get. I could do that in about five minutes, she says to her mother. As soon as she gets home, she gives it a try. Oh my goodness, look at her. She painted on the wall. And her mother doesn't look too happy with her. Time out. After a nice bath and a nice dinner, it's time for bed. But of course, Olivia's not at all sleepy. Only five books tonight, mommy, she says. No, Olivia, just one. How about four? Two, three, oh, all right, three. But that's it. When they finish reading, Olivia's mother gives her a kiss and says, you know, you really wear me out, but I love you anyway. And Olivia gives her a kiss back and says, I love you anyways too. And then she goes to sleep. There she is. And that's the end of the story. So I hope you enjoyed this book as much as my daughter does because we read it every day. All right, rascals. See you later. Bye.